Yo, what is going on guys, and today, as you can tell by the title of the video and on screen, I'm going to be showing you the best hardcore submachine gun class, in my personal opinion. And the reason why I'm showing you this today is because the past few videos that I've uploaded, like the 100 plus gameplay, I use this weapon, the 85 plus gameplay, I use this weapon. Just this class in general, it just feels like, in hardcore, it's one of the best, so I thought I'd just like to share it with you all, and hopefully you can all try it out and see how well you do. So obviously these are all the, well this is what I personally use because I pre-aim around every corner. So yeah, I like to rush and I'm not about the camping life, not going to lie, I can't be arsed. Even when I was going for like, as you can see the dark matter on the screen, I really could not be bothered with it. Just camping is just not me, that's not me, what can I say. So, <laughs> so we've got the razor back here, obviously the, I don't see a lot of people using it to be honest, especially in core. I don't see anyone use this weapon. Quote me if I'm wrong, but I don't see like, hardly any people on hardcore either. So I put it on and I put this class, and it's always like a one or two bullet kill. One, well, it's definitely a one hit bullet at like close range, but a mid range is like two bullets, long range, possibly two, maybe three. So it's risky, but trust me, if you use this on combine, then you're going to get some crazy gameplays. So, first off, the optics. Obviously, this is my personal opinion. I use ELO sight. Because the iron sights on this gun looks like Susan Boyle on drugs. It's just disgusting. It just takes up the entire screen. You just don't really want none of that in your face. <laughs> and the next up for the attachments, obviously we've got a quick draw. For obvious reasons, it's hardcore. You're going to be able to shoot. There's literally a one bullet, so one bullet and you're dead. So it takes a lot of skill. So you need to be extremely quick with your reactions. If you're not really good with your reactions, then I wouldn't suggest playing hardcore. Because literally one bullet and you're dead. So quick draw, you're going to want to fast. Well, you want to just aim down sight as quickly as possible, kill your enemy. The next up, we've got stock. Like I said, I like to pre aim around every single corner. Move quickly. You can strafe left and right. Obviously, the Christmas noobs are running loose, so their accuracy is literally like below 10%. <laughs> if you strafe and left and right, you've got the less chance of them even hitting you. And then next up, we have the extended mags. Like I said, personal preference. Maybe you might want fast hands, or maybe you just think this entire class is stupid. You think I'm stupid. Maybe you think, you know what, I don't like this guy. I'm just going to dislike the video. Please don't. Daddy, love me. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, you don't have to use extended mags, it's completely up to you, but this is what I said, this is my class, this is what I use. The next up, we got the perk one, the ghost, for obvious reasons, you know, if I'm running around in a spawn, like I said, the Christmas noobs are running loose, lads, the Christmas noobs are just running loose everywhere. So, everyone's using a UAV, especially in hardcore, I mean, even I, well, I used to use UAV, but now I've gone for the more offensive streaks, I still use the hater, you know, help the team out, but yeah, I don't use the UAV anymore, but... People, obviously it's hardcore, so there's no, like, ha like heads up, so there's no, like, oh, how do I put this, there's no map, you can't see, yeah, there's all stuff like that, so yeah. Everyone uses UAV, so, obviously, perk one, you're definitely going to want ghost. Well, it depends, like I said, this is my personal preference, I like to run around in their spawn, so I don't want them knowing where I am all the time. Now, perk two, this is the must-have, especially in hardcore, you want fast hands, you aim down sight, I think it's like, well... This is what I think, anyway. It aims down solo two times faster than maybe. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, maybe you don't want to put quick draw in there if you just want to use fast hands because that aims down sight so quickly after you sprint. But like I said, if you pre-aim, you're not going to be sprinting the entire time. That's why I got quick draw as well. So for perk three, obviously I don't have anything there. Maybe you don't want to have scavenger. Maybe you just want to pick up someone else's weapon. But I put scavenger on there because even in hardcore, you do use a lot of bullets. I must say. Some of the previous gameplays I've uploaded, they are literally so, I mean, well, I'm really inaccurate sometimes, and it just makes me face palm when I just look at it. <laughs> so I use up so much ammo, so yeah, that's why I have scavenger. Then, like I said, perk free, maybe you don't want scavenger, maybe you don't want the ELO site, maybe you think Susan, maybe you do want Susan Boyle all over your screen, you know, like I said earlier, maybe you do want that. Because it takes up so much room, like, you won't be able to see hardly anything, but yeah, like I said, it's up to you. If you don't want to use the... Scavenger, I would suggest maybe put in Tactical Mask in Perk 3, maybe. Because that's also annoying. So make sure in the comment section down below you actually tell me how well you do with this class. Maybe you don't even want to use this class. Maybe you just think I'm stupid. But like I said, this is my class. This is what I've been using in the past few gameplays I've uploaded. So make sure you try it. Let me know how you do with it. Leave a like. Subscribe for more Black Ops 3 content. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.